NBC4's Find a Friend is sponsored by Rascal Animal Hospital. One of our very best friends is with us here on this Saturday morning. Dr. G, Dr. Michelle Gonzalez from Rascal Animal Hospital is here today. And we have a little timid girl who was, uh, she was kind of given up by her family. Yes, this is Millie Lou, and she's only about a year and a half. Uh, and she's already been spayed, she's been vaccinated, she's ready for her, for her home. But yeah, she's had a, a kind of like a rough life. You know, she's clearly has not been treated very kindly. She's very timid, she's very fearful. So she's definitely gonna be best with a family that can spend the time and, and you know, take, take the time to make her feel comfortable and, and loved. And the thing about it is that may take a while. Absolutely, yeah. People cannot expect to get a dog that is in this condition and just overnight make them like them. It's yeah. going to, it's gonna take time, but definitely they deserve the time and, and care. And she's available for adoption with our friends from Dash Rescue. Yeah, she's a very sweet dog though. Yeah. She really is, she just is real timid. That's about the only thing about her. And yeah. she uh, looks like she's uh, not missed very many meals. No, she doesn't look <laughs> like it. So, so by her own foster admission um, <laughs> so she's being loved with food which is something that's very common a very large number of people overfeed their dogs because you know they come and they especially if they see us eating or anything we give them food they're happy about the food we get happy that they're happy and it just spirals out of control and you're he, looking right at me when you say that too, I, I am not Bob <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's it's the same it's the same issue with us with them it, there can be health issues mm -hmm. so you know this past week it was obesity awareness mm -hmm. and we just want to make sure that people understand that it is okay to say no it is okay to use special treats and sometimes when they're a little bit out of control, like Melalu here, <laughs> using special diets, like our friends from Hills have really good diets that are made to give them all the nutrients that they require, but have controlled calories. Now, what do you look for in a good food for a dog? Like the, that? the biggest thing is going to be consulting with your veterinarian, mm -hmm. because you want a food that is a high quality, good ingredient diet that is not voiding them of the important nutrients that they need. You know, some people will, will go over the counter and get a diet that just says, you know, low calorie or something mm -hmm. like that and then they will try to make their own you know adjustments mm -hmm. and that can be detrimental we don't want him to lose too much weight too quickly all right thank you dr g mm -hmm. you're always great with the information and if you'd like to find out more about that of course you can always go to uh, dash animal rescue.org to adopt millie lou or you can go to the rascal to find out more about what uh, dr g is always talking about for us here